praise the Lord. I'm Hezbon Odindo. And I'm Violet Odindo. Receive greetings from us and the Dove Kenya family. The Lord has been speaking to me about doing good. In times like this, when we have the lockdowns and the curfews and people are going through tough times around the world, at least we see in this part of the world, it's not very easy. And we need to remember that the God we serve is also the God of the good times. It's also the God of the bad times. It's God on the mountains, a God in the valley. In Psalms 119 and verse 68, you are good and you do good. Teach me your statutes. The psalmist is bringing two sides of the God that we serve. He's talking about his goodness. He's worthy. He's an amazing God, astounding, breathtaking. The other side of God that the psalmist is bringing out very clearly is a God who does, he works, his actions, and he's talking about his kindness, his mercy, his steadfast love, and his generosity. When you look into the scriptures, in the book of Acts chapter 9 and verse 36, at Joppa there was a certain disciple named Tabitha, which is translated Dorcas. This woman was full of good works and charitable deeds, which she did. Dorcas made tunics and dresses for the widows, and she did it with the passion. She did good. And a time came when she died, and she was carried and put into the upper room. And Peter was in Luda, so the disciples sent for Peter to come. When Peter came, she found the widows were wailing, they were crying, they were in pain. They were remembering what Dorcas did when she was with them. And Peter sent them out immediately, and Peter prayed, and Dorcas came back to life. And Peter was able to present Dorcas to them. In Acts chapter 10, we see a man, Cornelius, who was an officer in the Roman army, responsible for about 80 to 100 soldiers. He used to pray earnestly to God and giving alms to the Jewish people. He did that religiously until one day the angel of the Lord appeared to Cornelius and told him, Cornelius, your alms and your prayers have become a memorial before God. And Peter was sent by the Almighty God to go to the house of Cornelius. When Peter went there, Cornelius received Jesus, and the entire household of Cornelius became believers. And that is the first convert from Gentiles to Christianity. Brothers and sisters, this is a testimony that when we do good, we make a difference. What are you doing in this season with what you have? Dorcas used her skills, Cornelius prayed and gave arms. What are you doing? You do something with what you have, what is in your hands, your skills, your resources, your money. Do something and make a difference. I want to leave you three things that the Lord has been really putting in my heart. Number one, when we do good, it becomes an investment in the heavenly account for you. Number two, when we do good, it becomes a memorial before the Almighty God. Number three, when we do good, it moves the heart of God. We want to encourage you to do good in our family, to our neighbors, to the glory of our God. God bless you. Amen.